Hello, Tab Nation. It's your boy Tom, and today we're going to be doing something that I'm just dubbing Hot Corners. This is a way to basically just trigger certain code to activate depending on where your mouse location is. Corners are really easy because you can just snap your mouse up there real quick and it'll perform whatever code you want. So let's take a look at the code. Sorry about my face on here. The lighting's pretty bad today for some reason. I'm not sure what's up with that. But hey, we're not here to look at my ugly mug. We're here to look at code. So here we go. Let's start. So up here, I got some settings going on. I got a uh, persistent. Reason for that is uh, there are no hotkeys being used in here. So once whatever's done being done, my script would automatically close because there's no hotkeys. So we're putting this in here to make sure the script keeps running because there's no hotkeys. Coordinate mode, mouse. This basically just affects uh, basically down here like the mouse get position. So you just want to put that in there it makes it a little smoother i got a timer a timer basically means uh inner in corner so it just means every 250 milliseconds run whatever's in here you can adjust this to whatever you want uh you know play around with it everybody's computer and need is going to be different 250 milliseconds works for me uh, but it might not for you. Maybe you want it faster or whatever. Slow it down. It really depends. But 250 works pretty well for me so far. Uh, and then a return because we're done here. Because the timer is going to do everything else for us. So every 250 milliseconds, it's going to jump down here to our handler. Which is basically like a hotkey, but only one of the uh, double dot things here. Um, so, yeah. So what we want to do is every 250 milliseconds, we want to get our mouse position. Where is it on our screen? So we're using current X and current Y. You can change those, obviously, to whatever you want it to be. But if you do, make sure, see these highlighted ones, that it matches. Uh, this is just the variable I, I came up with. So we're basically just doing an if with a bunch of else ifs. So obviously, there's only four corners on your screen. Unless you have some weird computer monitor I've never seen before that's like a hexagon. Which you just add more else's, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, hey, if you do have a, some weird hexagon-shaped monitor, please send me a link to a picture of it. I would be very curious to see something like that. So our first if, as you see I have commented out here, is going to be our top left corner. So whenever I move my mouse up here to the top left corner... And it's uh, basically those coordinates. Obviously, it's the beginning of your uh, screen. So it's 0, 0. So if the X and Y coordinates of my mouse equals 0, 0, perform the code within these brackets. So obviously, you put whatever code in here you want. But for me, I want to send the date. So I got format, date, time string. Uh, obviously, you see I don't have anything else here. There is a third uh, uh, thing you can put here where you can get specific but I, I'm just going to get there everything. And then I'm going to send date is whatever uh, it grabbed from the system. And then I'm going to do an enter just because I want to start a new line. Obviously, you don't have to do that. Or maybe I'm on a website and I need to submit uh, the enter key. It's going to do that for me. I'm going to sleep for five, uh, five thousand, or 500 milliseconds. The reason I'm doing this is because it, it seems to sometimes get a little buggy when I'm doing the send command, if my mouse also stays up there a little bit too long, like I don't snap it out of that corner instantly, it'll send this twice because it's, you know, triggering seeing that, oh, you want to do it again, oh, you want to do it again. So it's just kind of a bit of, it helps uh, keep it a little bit more uh, on point. I don't know what to say there. <laughs> uh, so then I'm doing else if. So this one is the top right corner. So the top right's on the other side, obviously. And we're seeing if current X equals whatever the width of the screen is. Put a minus one sign there, just because uh, that seems to help a little bit. Uh, you might not need that, but it, it does help a little bit. And zero. So zero meaning top of screen, 
and then whatever the width of my screen is, max width. So it's checking that top right corner. If so, we're going to do message box. Hello world. Next on we got bottom left. So bottom left is going to be zero because we're all the way over here. So that's zero for that coordinate for X. Uh, and then the current is screen height. height. So whatever the height is, once again, I'm putting that minus one in there just to help out a little bit. It makes it seem to be a little bit more efficient. So whatever the max height of my screen is. Uh, and here we're just going to run CALC, which is our systems calculator. You do not need, when you're running stuff like this that's built into the OS, you do not need to uh, put a uh, file path to the executable for a calculator. You can actually just put CALC, which is really cool. It's very helpful because, honestly, I don't know where this is stored in my computer. I'm sure I could find it within a minute, but makes it simple. <laughs> Last we got, it, bottom right. So this is the long one. That's because we're doing both the screen width and the screen height. Height, I keep saying that wrong. And uh, once again, minus one, minus one. That should be good enough. And here we're gonna do a message box, sub to tab nation to learn, which you should do. And hit the thumbs like button because that helps me a lot and yeah that's basically it and then we just put a return down here in case we have more code down here technically in the script we don't need the return because that's the end of the script but it's always good to put that there in case you add something later so yeah uh let's see this in action shall we let's launch that make sure yep it's running so there's no hotkeys it's already doing what it's supposed to be doing it's already watching so my mouse, uh, as you can see, is right. Wait, can you not see my mouse? You can barely see my mouse. That's because it's black on a screen. Ah, there's my mouse. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead. Let's uh, open Notepad. Yeah, there we go. So open Notepad. We're going to do that first one. So I'm already highlighted in there. I'm going to go up to the top left. And there we go. Done. You see, press the enter, so it's on a new line. Let's do it again. Voila. So it did that first one perfectly fine. All right. And the next one is Hello World. That's top right. Let's go ahead and do that one. Boom. Hello World. And as you see, it's really fast. I mean, it's pretty much instant as, as soon as I put my mouse up there. That's why I have that 250. If you make it a little smaller than here, it might trigger that function twice. Uh, if you don't move your mouse away fast. So that's just something. If you're not as fast as me, you might want to update that to 500 milliseconds or something. All right. Bottom left. Calculator. Let's go down there. There we go. Calculator ran. And last but not least, bottom right. There's our message box. Sub to tab nation to learn. So yeah. That's pretty much it. It's just, it's a real cool way to add something that's outside of hotkeys. Uh, hotkeys, you know, sometimes you got to look at your keyboard. You got to memorize maybe a little bit of, you know, F1 does this. I mean, you still have to memorize what each corner does here. Um, but this is just a real cool way to be like really fast. It gives you, it only gives you four options basically. I mean, maybe you could add uh, something about like a key check. You know, if you say, like, okay, if I go to the top left, send the date, time, that kind of stuff. Or you could also expand on that and make it even to eight corners, where you say, like, if alt is being held down, and I go to the left, do this instead of send date. So you could do that functionality. I have videos on how to add, you know, uh, key checks and stuff, you know, if it's pressed... Uh, so that could add some more functionality to it. Uh, but simply, this just gives you four options. Uh, but it's really cool. It's very helpful. I love using this for just real quick input on uh, stuff. All right. If you guys have any questions on this, let me know in the comments below. Love you guys. See you on the next video.